Welcome to tutorial number two. In this video, I will show you the geometry creation portion for tutorial number two. First we will create a rectangle. You should note that the drawing is symmetric about both x and y axis. You will create only a quarter of the geometry and then use mirror command to complete it. In this step, we will create the rectangle knowing the width, the height, and the anchor position. Select the create rectangle command. Enter both the width and height of 1.25 as shown. Once complete, press enter after typing the values to see a preview of the rectangle. Select the origin. Once complete, you can select the OK button to exit the rectangle command. Next, we will create a chamfer. In this step, you will create a quarter inch by 45 degree chamfer. Select Create, Chamfer, Entities. From here, enter a distance of 0.25 in the ribbon bar and ensure that the chamfer style is set to one distance and that trim is enabled. Select the following two lines to create the chamfer. Once complete, select the OK button to exit the command. Now, we will create the circle. In this step, you will create a circle knowing the diameter and location. Select Create, Arc, Circle Center Point. Input a diameter value of 0.25 in the ribbon bar. Now select the fast point icon and input the coordinates 1, comma, 1 and press enter. Your circle will appear as shown. Once complete, select the OK button to exit the command. Your geometry will appear as shown up to this point. Next, we will create polar arcs. In this step, you will create two polar arcs knowing the radius, the center point, the start angle, and the end angle. Select the fit icon. To zoom out on your part, use the mouse wheel. We will now create the polar arcs. In this step, you will create two polar arcs knowing the radius, the center point, the start angle, and the end angle. Select Create, Arc, Arc Polar. Enter the following values in the ribbon bar. Once complete, press Enter. Now, select the origin. From here, press the Apply button to stay within the command. Your part will appear as shown. Next, enter the following values in the ribbon bar and press Enter once the values have all been input. Again, select the origin. You can now select the OK button to exit the command. Your part will appear as shown up to this point. Now, now we will delete the construction lines. In this step, you will delete the center lines that are going through the origin. Select the following lines as shown. Now, press the delete key from your keyboard. Your part will appear as shown. In the next step, we will mirror the geometry. The mirror command allows you to complete the geometry. You will mirror the geometry about both X and Y axis. Select X form, mirror. From the general selection toolbar, choose the all button. 
From here, make sure that All Entities is enabled to select All Entities as shown. You can now select the OK button. Press Enter to finish the selection. Make sure that Copy is enabled, the Radio button in front of the X axis is enabled, and the Fit is enabled. The preview of the mirror will appear as shown. Select the Apply button to stay within the command. Again, from the General Selection toolbar, choose the All button. Make sure that the All Entities is enabled. Now select the OK button. Press Enter to finish the selection. The Mirror dialog box will appear again. This time, make sure that Copy is enabled, the Radio button in front of the Y axis is enabled, and that Fit is enabled. The preview of the resulting geometry should look as shown. You can now press the OK button to exit the command. When performing a transform function, XForm, Mastercam creates a temporary group from the originals, red, and a result, being the purple, from the transformed entities. However, they stay in effect only until you use the screen clear colors function or perform another transform function. That being said, select the clear color icon as shown. Your geometry has now been returned to its original color. You should notice that the lines in the two big circles are broken into two and four segments due to the mirror command. To be able to select the circle for the circle mill toolpath, you will have to join the arcs. Now we will join the entities. The join function allows you to join collinear lines, arcs that have the same center and radius, or splines that were originally created as the same entity. Select Edit, Join Entities. Now make a window around all the entities as shown. Press Enter to finish the selection. The entities are now automatically joined. Finally, we will save the file. This will complete the geometry creation portion for tutorial number 2. In the next video, I will discuss the setup sheet, how to select the machine, and how to set up the stock.